...to move against this Juracek, who is literally going to try and just get to him and, and try and crawl all over him, if you like. Look, this is the tactics here. Oh, good footwork by Greenberg. Turned the bigger, slower man. He's caught him with a great right hand, and he's going to do in one run what only Harrison did in two. Juracek may not get up from that. Well, he looks a very sad figure. This 19 stoner, Mickey Van has stopped it. And in less than a minute, Roman Greenberg has produced some hard, hard punching in considerable style. Jurczyk coming lumbering forward, really hit with the open part of the glove. And Greenberg, what impresses me about him, he's got great footwork. And that short right and then a left. And look at those shots. They are very accurate and straight through the guard. And your check had absolutely no answer to them whatsoever. And there was one more right to the chin, really finished him off. What a finish, Rich. Yeah, great work from Greenberg. He literally drew your check into the corner, turned him, and then delivered a cracking right hand. And uh, then he put together with three or four good shots. And there was a good right hand at the end again there. And a uh, great performance from Greenberg. Very impressive, very explosive. This, this win tonight gives him bragging rights, doesn't it? You know, he beat a man who who Audrey Harrison beat in two rounds, so he did, it a, he did a quicker job. That's gonna, I think that's going to boost uh, Roman's confidence, because people have been saying he doesn't punch hard enough. He showed that if he hits you hard enough and often enough and fast enough, you're going to go on the floor. Catching him with uh, shots like that, Jeff Hines is having a good look. Gary Williams has got very little to offer on the ropes. Right hand came right through the guard, and Williams is gone, and I think he's hurt. I'm not sure whether he's twisted the knee, but certainly he was well caught. And is this going to be a first run stoppage? Jeff Hines decides, yes, that's enough. And Gary Williams, I don't think Richie can have any complaints. Because that was a very good uh, right hand. Yeah, I mean, it was a, a superb right to pick up. But Greenberg, I just think, is uh, enjoying this. Good left hand by Simkin. Good footwork, though, by Greenberg. And Simkin is hanging on. Probably good solid body shots going in by Roman Greenberg. And uh, Simkin's eyes are puffing up underneath rather badly. Greenberg trying to team up for the right hand. Simkin Greenberg there. Just whipped in the uppercut. There's the uppercut I'm telling you about. Simkins is made for it. He's leaning into it and his right eye starting to close up quite badly now. And the body shots getting through as well. And Greenberg isn't missing nothing now. He's not missing nothing. Took a little right hand there, shook his head in total disdain. I'm not hurt. Well, Simkin's eyes have uh, marked up very badly. Nothing's been cut yet, apart from the little nick in the back of his head caused by an elbow in the second round. But uh, again, a single shot from Simkin at wicket intent. Greenberg enjoying himself. Replies in kind. Had a look at his corner. He'll tell him I'm sure to stop messing about and get on with the job. And Simkin is blinking very badly indeed, and he looks in a fair bit of distress, and I'm wondering will they let him go on. If he is in some distress, they should. They're going to pull, pull, pull him out. Good decision. You know, he's one eye shut, and the other one's pretty much on its way. Yeah, I think that's not a bad idea. Nobby Nobs yeah. has said that we don't want our man to continue anymore, so we not have to come out for the fifth round. And uh, Roman Greenberg has made it 12 wins out of 12, and is ninth inside the distance. Greenberg! Well, we'll talk about Roman Greenberg first, because 12 fights and 12 victories. And a lot of people are saying that in two years' time, he could be the hottest property in British heavyweight boxing. What do you think? Well, you know, this kid's 21. He's about six inches taller than you think he is. He's about three stone bigger than you think he is. He's got incredibly fast hands, and he hardly ever gets hit on the chin. And he was a world junior silver medalist. You know, this is a good talent. I mean, it's amazing to me that 12 fights into his career, two years into it, he's basically slipped under everybody's radar because Richie and I have been fans for about a year now.
was the other thing is they don't want to fright any potential opponents away from Greenberg as he uh, continues his rise. Four, by the way, of Gether's uh, six wins. Oh, nice right there from Greenberg. Four of Jason's six wins have come inside the limit. So he's obviously a fairly meaty punch. So once again, Greenberg put his punches together now. Well, it's taken a bit of time, but here he goes. And he's got it over. Yep, he's gone down here in round six. Well, Greenberg had won everything apart from a level first, and now he's really put the punches together here. And he's got Gethers in trouble. Can he finish it? Won't be the first time, of course, that Gellers has been seen off inside the limit. But it will be a good result, this, if uh, Greenberg can finish. Nice right again there for Roman Greenberg. Cracking punch that, and he's really... I think he's laid poor old uh, Jason Gellers out here in the sixth round of a scheduled eight. And that is a knockout victory. An excellent win then for Greenberg. When he put the punches together, he was very impressive, as you saw. But the problem is the journey to getting those punches off can be frustrating so there's Jim Evans uh, Greenberg's co uh, trainer and there's Robert Waterman co-handler I should say so Greenberg then makes it 15 nil 12 inside the limit now for Roman and as I say he is an improving sort um, and you know when he starts to age a little bit get to 20, 24, 25 um, I think all of his groans been done incidentally um, he's going to be a pretty potent force there's no doubt about that well he's happy about that and that's his uh, fifth fight in the United States and uh, well as I say still undefeated just watch this again well Gethers obviously uh, well Quite, that was a left hook come up and cut there I think that dropped Gethers for the first time but the second one was a real cracking right I think Jason had a bit of a soft chin actually as I say yes it was a good right yeah but as I say that's his uh, his fourth stop